Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Jamila and welcome back to my laboratory. So as graduation season is upon us and just because COVID-19 has canceled a lot of things doesn't mean we still can't celebrate our grads. So for today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how I made this beautiful decorative pillow. I'll have everything I use in the description box below. Make sure you join my group on Facebook, follow me on Instagram, and if you learned something new or enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Alright guys, for this tutorial we're going to go ahead and start off in Canva. So go ahead and go to canva.com and we're going to enter our custom dimensions of, I'm using 8.5 by 13 paper. So that is the dimensions I'm going to enter, but whatever your paper size is, is the dimensions you'll want to enter. Okay, and once we get to our screen, I'm just going to go ahead and insert an image of my daughter that I'll be using in this tutorial. All right, so once I do that, now the image that I'm using, I purchased from Etsy and the link will be in the description box. You see right here at the top and at the bottom is, is blank, right? So what I did basically is because Canva will allow you to flip an image, but you cannot flip text. So if you enter text, you can't flip it. So basically what I did was enter her name in the year class of 2020. I saved it, then I went to another browser um, that allowed me to flip the whole thing, then I uploaded that back into Canva, and that is what we're working with right now. So the first thing I'm going to want to do right here is um, I'm going to size my image to fit the 8.5 by 13 paper. And because my pillow, my pillow is like 20 by 28, I believe, and eight and a half by 13 to me just look too small. So this is going to kind of be like an all over print project, okay? So what I'm doing right here is basically I'm sizing it, and you see I cropped some of it out. That is because since I don't have like a wide format printer, I'm gonna have to piece this together like a puzzle, okay? So I cropped it out right under the bottom where it says enjoy life and I'm going to use that as like my marking point. And I'm just sizing, I'm just scratching out the rest of the image to fit the size of the paper. Once I have that where I want it, I'm just going to add a new page. I'm going to get the same design that I just used and I'm going to do the same thing except uh, on the first page I cropped it from the bottom but this time I'm going to crop it from the top. And I'm just going to stop right there where it says enjoy life, okay? Because we can always take away, but we can't add. And you just want to make sure that your image is reversed. Because when you do sublimation, you want your image to be reversed. And for the picture, I just made it like 8.5 by 11, I believe. And I went ahead and flipped that. I'm just triple checking, make sure everything is flipped. Then I'm going to go ahead to this arrow and download images that we just created and since we're doing three pages it will download like a zip file and I'm just going to go ahead and hit save open my file go over here to extract and I'm going to extract all and then I'm just going to hit save and then here are my images and then we're just going to go ahead and print I'm going to double click it my printing settings, well, that'll pop up first, and then my printing, printing settings will pop up. And we're just going to go ahead and tr uh, double check our settings. Make sure you're using your sublimation printer. We're going to make sure we have your paper size. And you want to make sure the paper type is set to premium presentation mats. And if all that is checked, go ahead and print. So here is everything once it's been printed. And right here, I'm just going to uh, cut off the excess white. And I'm just going to play around with how I want to piece this together. And because I cut off uh, both of the image at Enjoy Life, that gives me the option to like layer it on top of each other or cut letters off if I need to. Just basically be a neighbor. I just basically need to align this up where nobody can see like a line or anything. And once I have it lined up how I want, I'm just going to place some heat tape right here. 
just to hold it together okay i'm not going to leave this on because i just wanted to hold it together for when i flip it to the back to apply the heat tape when you apply heat tape you only want it on the back of your image because if you press it with it on front like that it will be pressed onto your image okay so i'm just going to tape up the back and then i'm just going to remove the tape from the front And then I'm just going to repeat the process with that in the picture of my daughter. Once we finish getting our image together, we'll go ahead and lint roll our pillow really, really, really well. And we'll go ahead and pre-press for about 15 to 30 seconds at 400 degrees. Now, I'm going to take this spray and lightly spray my transfer, and this will just ensure that it sticks to the fabric and doesn't shift, which will uh, prevent any ghosting from happening, okay? So I'm going to do that, put it on there, cover it, and press for 60 seconds at 400 degrees. And since my heat press is only 15 by 15, I have to work in sections for this project. And you'll see at the end, I didn't ensure that my surface was smooth, which ruined the project. So, of course, I had to go ahead and make another one, which turned out perfect. Okay, so guys, don't be like me. Make sure your project is smooth.